Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to be talking about a super easy way uh, to actually mask your videos. This probably is the easiest way I've found, uh, personally at least, to actually mask your stuff. And it's just the quickest. You avoid the whole uh, kind of bullshit task of uh, masking out every, you know, every individual frame, adjusting that by every single different frame. And overall, masking is just a super tedious process if you're masking kind of a moving person, which is essentially what I'm going to be showing you how you can do super simply in uh, like a fourth, fuck it, a tenth of the time that you could do uh, the actual regular pen tool masking in. So without further ado, let's jump into the super easy way to mask your videos. Okay, so first off, just to actually give you a uh, visual demonstration, uh, an example basically of what the final effect could look like, and it really depends what you actually put behind your mask, obviously. You could put text there, you could put anything, but essentially, this is a way to actually isolate just me, right? Even though I'm moving in this, and um, basically just chop me out as another layer so that we can put all this weird stuff behind. Now, obviously, like I just said, you can put whatever you want behind um, without, obviously, the background and the stuff. It is just me, essentially, right? Just like that. So with all that stuff um, being said, basically, this is just how to isolate me or you or whoever is in your video, right? And you want to isolate them as a single layer so that you can put stuff behind. Super easy, normally, obviously, you'd have to, um, you see all this motion with me looking from side to side, you would have to keep redoing the mask, and it could honestly take genuinely hours and hours and hours. This particular thing right here took me five, ten minutes, honestly. So it's a massive, massive time saver, this effect right here, and overall, it's so easy to actually just use. Uh, the only essential thing Right, and the way it kind of will work best, I guess, um, even though the, the program does do, do a pretty good job of figuring out what's in your image, but it works best with uh, something like this because clearly uh, all the, the background color is one color and I am a different moving object, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm a different color with the gray right here and you know even the black on my hair and, and overall I stand out from, the, from behind, right? So you do, it, well, you don't have to do this, of course, you can go through and uh, be a little bit more um, kind of picky with it and it could take a little bit longer, but it will be very, very quick if you have a clip like this where it's quite obvious that these are two um, different kind of things going on, right? It's quite obvious that that's all one color and I am a different color, so it's going to be quite easy. Anyways, first off, you want to go ahead and duplicate your layer. So Control D or you know Control C, Control V. If you're on Mac, Command D, uh, Command D, Command C, Command V. Whatever you want. Basically, go ahead and uh, du duplicate your clip. Then go up here to the Roto Brush tool, click it, and then you're going to want to double click so that opens up in your actual uh, layer right at the top. So you can actually mess with this, paint on it, screw with it. And this right here, I shit you not, is the effect. You literally want to just draw on your image, right? Actually, I, yeah, it, it is full, all right, cool. And it should do its best to just highlight what you've drawn on. So for me, I just drew a line right down there. Instantly, I told you it's smart enough to kind of realize this because obviously I'm quite different from the background. So instantly, the computer has figured out that obviously this is what we want to do. Then. You honestly either just want to press play and it'll start working through each frame and figuring out and adjusting the uh, these kind of mask right here. Um, but for me personally, I think my processor on my computer is kind of dying a little bit. So for me, it only renders a couple frames and then I just have to manually go through to the next frame. You see how it doesn't done it hasn't done it to that one. Then press play again and it will render the next couple frames and then. Um, I, yeah, of course, that'll stop again. So I basically, for me, just because my processor isn't amazing, and also everybody out there whose processor isn't amazing as well, this probably will happen, all right? Either way, it's still a thousand times quicker than actually masking, and you just have to keep playing it, and then when it stops, going back to the point where the purple, or yeah, 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 the, the purple actually isn't, right? Boom, and then just simply highlighting everything again, Obviously, your edit might not be as simple as this, where uh, you, you, you know, the thing you want to mask out might not be that different from the background. It still does an amazing job of figuring out and trying to kind of track what you have done, right? It still really does do a really good job of that, whether or whether or not um, you, uh, whatever you're trying to kind of mask out 
stands out that much for the background, but overall it does do, do a really good job of actually figuring out and kind of following along with your object and adjusting the mask kind of based on, on what your object is doing. But obviously this is amazing for anything that's moving. I think it's easily the fastest way to actually go about masking anything that's moving because it's literally like a cheat code right here. It's too easy compared to the process that other people's go through, which is going up to the pen tool and individually kind of sketching out and then adjusting every single frame, which honestly is not great. Also, um, aside from this, in terms of masking, you can um, track the motion of your mask. However, that for me, I've never received the best results doing it. Some stuff, it, it depends how specific your shape is, but if you do create a mask, you actually do have the option to um, track the mask. Uh, you could do that in here and also in Premiere Pro. Um, but I do not believe Premiere Pro has the rotoscope or the, the, the roto brush tool. I believe it just has the track mask. But boom, you see how this can be a little bit annoying just going through and it might be even more annoying for you because this is very specifically not part of the background or like it, it, it stands out a lot. Yours might not, like I've said a couple times now. So it's just a process of going through and highlighting everything and pretty much just going frame by frame just to make sure that this mask goes the whole way, right? And at the end, of course, I'm gonna go through and, and start putting some overlays behind it, or I might even put some text because I've just showed you what the overlay, uh, overlays look like behind it. And it's awesome because it actually isolates uh, this moving object. Of course, it, it could be anything. It could be an object, it could be a person, it could be whatever. And then it isolates that as a, a layer you can put stuff behind, which honestly, masking really takes your edits to the next level. All edits with masking just instantly seem like they have a super one-up on the competition. They're just so much better. It really adds a whole different um, kind of dynamic to your videos and just makes it seem more, uh, less like a less like a video, I guess, more like kind of a, um, you're, you're more wowed by it. If you're the viewer, right, watching it, you're more impressed, that's the key thing. And um, boom, now if we play it through, the, the line follows it the entire way. Yep, nice and easy. And now I'm isolated. So if we go back here, right, I could go to the bottom layer, turn it off, and it would just be me right here. Boom, 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 boom. Sweet, right? Just looking around. Obviously, it does look a little bit glitchy there. And we could do whatever we want to me. We could just take me right there and go ahead and open up some, um, some what's called, where's this at? Boom. We could go to some overlay effects, right? I've got so many random little cheesy overlay effects that we could just put behind there. That's exactly what I did on the last thing, right? And uh, you could basically do all sorts of stuff, I guess, right? So we could have like a, a green a green light behind. We could do some sort of music video shit, right? Let's have a look what this is looking like. Boom. Obviously make that bigger. Oh, shit. Where you, where, where you at? Boom. Set that to the beginning. <laughs> now play that. <laughs> and it's just me there, bow. Or of course we could turn on the behind layer and then make that add or screen. I'm just gonna pop it to add actually. And bow, we start playing that and the wall is glowing now behind me. Obviously that just kind of seems more in depth, much cooler. Uh, that wasn't the greatest example to be fair. Um, just because that was a little bit of a weak uh, overlay. All these random overlays here are super weak. I hardly ever use them, ever. Just if I really want to do some wild, wild shit, but I'll put some fire back here, right? Boom, come on, bring that through. Boom, 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 boom. Just pop the fire back there. Go ahead and set that to add. And let's delete the green light. And now, you know what I mean, it's burning behind us. We obviously gotta look back there to check it out. Damn, look at that, big old fire. Bow, love that. Yes, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this, if it helped you out, uh, you know, if you haven't heard of this type of effect before or seen anybody do it, subscribe, check out my channel. I upload uh, new video production theme videos every single day, or at least I try to. I've been on a roll. I think this right here is like my 22nd day of uploading daily. I think that's correct, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Nah, I think that's correct. I'm gonna go with it. Anyways, thanks for watching. I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. Have a nice day and goodbye.